Hello, this is the second maths cast on certs and is looking at rationalizing. Please make sure you've had a go at the first part of certs, which will help you with this video. So, before we begin, we need to know what we mean by rationalizing. Rationalizing is when the bottom of a fraction is a third, which in this case is root 5, and the job is to make the bottom no longer a third, so change the bottom from a third into a normal number. So in our example, we have 2 over root 5. What we do is we take the root 5, which is on the bottom, and we're going to times both parts of the fraction by root 5. So we times top and bottom of the fraction by the third. Now this is quite easy. We've done it in the first part of the thirds video. The bottom of the fraction, root 5 times root 5, well they're both thirds, so we can just do 5 times 5, which is 25, and make it square root. The top of the fraction, they're not both thirds, so we can't combine them, so we just write it as 2 root 5. There's one more thing we can do. We know that root 25 on the bottom is 5. Root 25 is 5. It's one of the ones we should know. So the answer becomes 2 root 5 on the top over 5 on the bottom. So we've done what we've tried to do, which is change the bottom into a normal number and not a third. So let's do one more example uh, so that we can make sure we understand what we're doing. So let's take... 3 over root 6. So, at the moment, the bottom of this fraction is a third, and we don't want that. So we're going to take the root 6, and we're going to times both parts of the fraction by root 6. So we'll do the bottom first again. Root 6 times root 6. They're both thirds, so we can do 6 times 6 is 36 and we're doing the square root of that. The top of the fraction, we've got 3 times root 6. Well, they're both not thirds, so we can't combine them, so we're just going to write it as 3 root 6. Now, we can simplify this a little bit more, because we should know what the square root of 36 is. The square root of 36 is just 6, so the bottom of the fraction is 6, and the top of the fraction is still 3 root 6. We can simplify this a little bit further because 3 divided by 6 is a half, so we could write this as half root 6. Okay, so they're the simple examples. We're going to now have a go at a slightly more challenging question. So we're going to have a go at 2 plus root 3 all over root 3. And our job, once again, is to rationalize this. So, at the moment, we have a problem. The bottom is root 3, which is a third, and we don't want that. Again, we're going to use the same method. We're going to times top and bottom of this fraction by the root 3. Now, this is easy on the bottom, because root 3 times root 3, they're both thirds. So, 3 times 3 is 9 and we've got the square root of that. However, the top's a little bit harder. Let's put brackets around the actual bit in the fraction to 2 plus root 3, and we're going to multiply that by root 3. Now, what we do is we're going to um, expand the brackets just like we usually do. Let's put arrows from the root 3 to the two things in the brackets. So the first one, this one, 2 times root 3. Well, they're not both thirds. So we can't combine them, so it's just going to be 2 root 3. The second one, the root 3 times root 3, well, this time they are both thirds. So root 3 times root 3 is root 9. And there's a plus in the middle here, so we put a plus in the middle. So now we're part way there. Hopefully you can spot that you can simplify this, because we've got root 9, and we've got a root 9 here as well. And we know that root 9 is 3. It's one of the ones we know. So we've got 2 root 3, add 3 on the top. And on the bottom, we've just got 3. So we've done what we've tried to do. We've made the bottom no longer a third. It's a normal number. 
Let's do one more example of that because I know it's a little bit tricky. We're going to do root 5 minus 3 over root 5. And again, we want to rationalize this. So we want to make the bottom not a third. So we take the bottom number, the root 5, and this is what we're going to times both parts of the fraction by. We're going to times it by root 5. Again, it's easy on the bottom because we've got root 5 times root 5. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, and it's square root because both of them are thirds. On the top, again, it's easier if we put a bracket around the first bit. And then we're going to expand the brackets like we always do, putting our arrows on to show us what we're doing. Well, the first arrow here, root 5 times root 5, well, we've just done that one. Root 5 times root 5, they're both thirds. 5 times 5 is 25. The second one, 3 times root 5. This time they're not both thirds. So 3 times root 5 is just going to be 3 root 5. There's a takeaway here, so we're going to put a takeaway in the middle. So we've done half of it now, and hopefully you can spot that we have a root 25 here and here. And we can simplify that because we should know that root 25 is just 5. So I can rewrite the answer as 5 minus 3 root 5 all over 5. So what we've done again is rationalize the denominator because the bottom number is no longer a third. So this is a little bit tricky. You'll probably need a bit of practice at this to get the hang of it. But have a go at these practice questions and see if you can get the answer right. Remember, make sure you've watched thirds part one, which tells you how to expand the brackets if you're a little bit stuck on that part. Good luck.